so uh, we've done this circuit now uh, pretty much exactly except for here I didn't have 100k so I just used two 20s in parallel so it's about 110k but it's good enough uh -huh. and uh, this is the model and obviously we've got uh, high um, switch off is it off or on? I'm not sure um, yeah we've got a slope there and this one is pretty quick right and in this one we can see there's the actual slope and it's uh, so this is a one microsecond scale and we've got one two three four five six about six or seven microseconds I would say and in our diagram here you can see it takes most of the, the these are five apart and that, that one's actually slightly better in the model um, but you can see how the slow works and um, the other way so if I go for uh, trip the trigger the other way and just go down to zero virtually there you go so there you can see there again one microsecond per division and it's pretty much within one like in the middle you can see there it actually is just about 1.5 I think microseconds okay and this is on the gate this is measuring the gate okay uh -huh. and uh, unfortunately my resistor network here now is across 24 volts instead of 12 so it gets hot <laughs> I need to fashion that probably need a current limiting circuit or something like that but because this is now inverted inverted logic <laughs> on the output because we've got the motor now down to the negative and powering up to the zero okay so that means like in this diagram here you can see that that is on that is on these are the ons and these are the offs it's a negative voltage okay and so you can see how we've got inverted inverted which ends up with being true because it's down uh, the wiring is such that in here you can see the output has to go low to turn it to turn on that transistor right when it turns that transistor on this turns this transistor on which then uh, turns pulls the gate down and turns the um, IGBT off right which then allows the voltage at this uh, you know, which it's NC okay um, but when this goes high that then turns this transistor off which turns this off which allows the gate to charge through that resistor that turns it on so this going high turns that on and turns the motor on have I actually got that in the model? no the model doesn't reflect that for some reason I don't know why no, I don't know possibly it's just done wrongly that's a bit weird Oh, no, no, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's the voltage. It's showing you the voltage on the output, right? Yes, but that doesn't make any sense. Because when it's high, that's high and that's turned off. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, there's obviously something strange about that. Uh, uh huh. But uh, here, what happens is, of course, is if the voltage goes down to ground, that turns this on, which is a PNP, which then turns this on, which then grounds the gate and turns this off, which means the motor will turn off because it's not supplying current. Okay? And then when this goes high, that turns this off because that's the supply voltage. The base then is, is, is uh, there's no voltage across the base emitter. And so therefore it turns this one off, which then turns this one off because there's no current supply. So that base emitter would drop to zero because of that resistor and because it just doesn't have any current. And then that means this is turned off, which means that then will then supply. Oops, sorry, I'm out of shot. That will then supply the current to the gate and charge the gate, which then will then turn this on and power the motor. So high on that powers motor, low on that turns motor power off. Now, for some reason, the model isn't showing that. Let me trace that. And we're doing 
Well, the trace is on MCU out. So when MCU out goes low, that should turn this transistor on, which then turns that transistor on, which will then pull that gate low and turn this off, which means that voltage then should drop down to ground because I've got a 1k resistor here, a 1 ohm resistor here. So the output voltage should then drop to down. So if this goes low, that should go low, shouldn't it? Because it turns on, turns it on. Yeah, which is what's happening, isn't it? Yeah, the voltage is dropping to zero. Yes. Drop, dropping the voltage to zero then turns off because this, this blue line here is... Uh, the difference between the gate in our fake IGBT I'll shot again, and the output not down to the ground, not the 24 volts so it'll only show 12 volts yeah so when that, pull, when that goes down to ground that turns on this guy, oops, that guy there which turns this guy here which means that the gate will then drop down to negative won't it? Yeah. But uh, gate dropping to negative turns this off, which means the output, that output value there, will then go to negative as well because it's being pulled down by, the, in this case, a one ohm resistor. Right. So everything should drop down, and it does together. Yeah. So I'm quite sure why it's working in a positive way. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Oh, because that means that that will then drop to zero which means there's no power going into the motor so a low in logic will turn the motor off and a high in logic <coughs> yeah and a high in logic turns that off which turns that off which allows this to be turned on which turns the motor on so a high in logic turns the motor on yeah that's what's happening yes because we've got motor output here 255 okay that means it's it's uh, you know it's it's hundred percent on, and the motor's running. You see? <coughs> yep. Yeah. And if I reduce it to zero, which is hundred percent off, the motor goes off, which is what we want. Yeah. And so we've got a very short off time, which is what we're after, and. Change the trigger level and then bring it into scope. There you go. And a very high on time. That's that's almost 100%, isn't it? 254. So we've got like one clock. And interestingly enough, we've got the clock size, which is one microsecond. Hmm. And then it's gone to full because yeah, because it, it doesn't it doesn't trigger it. Okay, so that works. The uh, high side circuit works using the split rail supply without a problem. Hmm, that'll do.